Libra. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the moment that you come into union and balance and harmony with your shadow, you get this level of enlightenment. You're able to get this tap into a certain type of wisdom, discernment, clarity. Um, there is a important message that your shadow has for you that's been trying to give you for a long time. And there's so many things that's been happening on the outside realm that has been making you fall out of union with your shadow. So the moment that you're able to balance, balancing your shadow and becoming in harmony with your shadow is definitely going to be one of the, the best things that you can do for yourself, okay? Um, the affirmation of today is, I radiate happiness and joy. Let's say that together four times. I radiate happiness and joy. 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 All right, I'm going to be changing up a couple of things today. A lot of things today in this morning inspo. Um, we're still going to go into the blessing bag, so let's get right into that. All right, what is in the blessing bag for us? All right, in the blessing bag today, a wish comes true for you. Did you make your wish yet? A missed opportunity comes back around. So for some of you guys, you made this wish and you feel like a wish that did a wish. You feel like this wish didn't come true, but it comes right back around. Something comes right back around. Like you feel like, wow, I thought you, you made some type of wish and something just didn't come true for you. But now it's about to come true for you. <clears throat> Somebody wished for an op a certain type of opportunity. Somebody wished for a door opening somewhere and you felt like instead of that door opening, a door could have slammed in your face. Something could have closed in your face. Flattery. You have the cat. Indicates flattery. Flattery. The dog represents true friends. And you have the stork that is a residence change. All right. So somebody could be, could have wished to move. <laughs> somebody could have definitely wished to be in a different state mentally. A different state um, romantically. You have the cat. Expect to get a lot of compliments today or have a lot of people kind of trying to impress you with flattery. All right. We have the devil card coming out here as the energy for today. That's shadow the energy. This is be the, the, in, the inner. It's almost given like what are you enslaved to? What are these? What do you feel? Bond, what do you feel this entrapment with? All right. For some of you guys, instead of. All right. So this is a whole reading in one. You have the four of cups with the six of cups and the four of cups is looking at this three cups and cannot see this new cup that's coming in, which could be the ace of cups because it's focused on the way things have always been. And the person's energy is the past. So somebody's energy feels like the past. What happened will always happen. Just because it happened doesn't mean it always has to happen. But somebody is focused on the things that happened instead of what the endless possibilities could be. So that's this energy that it is that you have here. This four of cups with the six of cups. I do feel like that there's a person who needs to bring the, the sun or bring the light in their life now. I feel like there's a person who could be stuck in this moment because you're stuck trying to figure out, figure out. Um, you think that there's something that you need outside of yourself to create something different when you are the light. You are the endless possibility in the room. And six plus four is 10. So all you have to do is turn your head and you get your ultimate fulfillment. But this would be like what, are, what is these things that you feel like you need to free yourself from? 
And those are the things that you need to look at. And that would be you coming in contact with your shadow. Because these these aspects of yourself or these situations or these past traumatic events, they have messages for you. Long-awaited messages. They've been trying to reach you for a really, really long time. <clears throat> All right. I'm going into my priestess of the light oracle for this reading. Okay. Priestess of the light oracle for this reading. All right, ancestors, help us out. You can see more than we see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, what is the opportunity? Duality, many meanings, misunderstandings, purpose. The opportunity that you have here, big opportunity that you have here, that's going to give you power, power over difficulty, is that there are many meanings to your purpose, to your vision, to your quest. So for some of you guys, there could be something that you're doing or something, an, an idea you have, and there is many, many meanings in the physical world to this idea that you have, meaning that there are so many different people that could relate to something that it is that you are doing or something that it is that you have. Um, twin flames, you do have soul partner here. Hmm. Somebody, I feel like an opportunity is, for, for some of you guys have the opportunity to meet an opposite today. Opposites attract like magnets. So if there is this magnetic attraction, then they're probably going to be really, really opposite from you. There's going to be a challenge achieving something. Sensuality, tapping into your feminine energy today. Um, feminine wisdom, passion. <clears throat> For some of you guys, this is going to be a, a day where you need to soften up. Call on your feminine wisdom to get you through something. And that could be a challenge for you. Um, it looks like you feel like in order to get what you want, you have to bring masculine energy. You don't understand on getting what you want by bringing feminine energy into the equation. Um, for some of you guys, there also may be a hard... You may have a hard time being really, really optimistic about future. So something may have you stressing out about the future, about what is to come. Also, for some of you guys, there's a transition period. This Phoenix energy and evolution period that you're going through, and that could be a hard time. And I feel like it has to do with the dying part. For some of you guys, this is this Phoenix energy. I do also feel like that there is a person who could be holding you to the person that you used to be, or this person could be you. Yep. What are you? What do you feel slave to? For some of you guys, you feel slave to an old version of yourself, and you are holding yourself. You know how when they say like a person could have changed their life around, and then somebody comes around and they and they tell them, "Well, I remember when you used to." You are remembering when you used to to you. This is what you're doing to yourself. So instead of having a person come or come out to you saying, like, I remember when you da-da-da-da, 
You are, you are that voice for yourself. And that's why it's hard for you to step into this level of achievement because you are reminding yourself, well, I remember when you didn't do this. So I remember when you didn't have this. Um, there's a need for you to figure out why you are doing that to yourself, why you're holding yourself in these invisible chains. Um, instead of looking at these new creations that you have created in front of you, there is a part of you that's continue, continuously looking back at what it is that you used to do or who it is that you used to be or how you used to talk or whatever it is. It's something that's holding you back. Um, there's a need for you. Look, the divine mother, um, nurturing compassion and grace. There's a need for you to nurture and compa um, nurture yourself, um, give yourself more compassion and give yourself more grace here. Balance. You need to nurture you instead of being so hard on you. Um, you need, need to learn how to nurture you. That's why that feminine energy is going to be really, really hard. Significance today is going to be abundance for you. Significance is going to be abundance. Fortune, wealth, and plenty. For some of you guys, you are communicating this to you. You are sending the signal of abundance. Um, this is what is communicating to you today. It is abundance. Or how you communicate needs to be in a way of abundance. Compassion, true love, all of this stuff. That's going to be very, very significant. Hmm. There may also be some type of conflict what else what else significant energies sacred purpose eternal flame ancestral legacy that could also be coming out to you ancestral legacy for some of you guys you are here to carry on some type of legacy you're going to see that um you do have a sacred purpose you're going to see that something is not going to going to burn out there's some type of purpose that um, after you, there'll be many that's here to do the same type of purpose. So there's the eternal flame. It never stops burning. And then also for some of you guys, this is this twin flame energy where there is a person that keeps on coming back. Like you keep on reincarnating with this person. Um, but this, this um, sacred pur purpose that comes, that is um, highlighted today significant energy today is coming to give you some type of path to illuminate you. Um, this could also be um, you creating some type of expansion. You have building your world. This is creation, expansion, networking. So for some of you guys, you may be meeting someone and this person is an eternal flame, somebody who you keep on reincarnating with. Yeah, you have open heart connections. So some for some of you guys, there's a person that's really, really linked to... Um, your sacred purpose, all right? And another another significant energy is going to be clarity, wisdom. Somebody is gaining some type of wisdom today. There's wisdom. For some of you guys, you get the discernment that you need to give you power over difficulty and also reclaim your power back. You have summoning power, instinct, intellect, control, but most importantly, this intellect this intellect, for some of you guys, you could have had some type of um, brain fog or something like that going on where you couldn't like really get the, the clarity that it is that you needed. But now that you, you're able to tap into this clarity and also wisdom for some of you guys, it's going to be through this creative type of flow. So for some of you guys, you may feel this energy where you want to draw, where you want to want to sing, where you want to whatever. But this is how you're tapping into your inner wisdom. And this inner wisdom gives you the solutions that you need um, to reclaim your power back and to give you power over different difficulty. So this is like you're, you're summoning your own power, which is really cool. Cool. And let's see. Okay, in love, somebody, okay, so there's some type of hostilities going on when it comes to your love relationships, problems, things like that, that's happening in your love relationships. Um, there is still a need for you to be very, very optimistic of the future. And I do feel like because of these conflicts and hostilities and, 
and breakups and bad cycles that you could have went through in love relationships, could be friendship, could be business, could be family. There's a hard time for you to kind of look at these new relationships without tainting, tainting them with the past. So there's going to be a need for you to get out of that energy and still look at the future with this optimism, okay, when it comes to your relationships and love, all right? So there's some type of sacred action. Yes, there's some type of sacred action. So for some of you guys, there is a bond. There is union that's coming towards you. And this union, like like it showed up here in your sacred purpose, this union is a sacred action that you're having. This friendship, this is sacred, okay? Um, and there's a need for you. For some of you guys, you could be meeting a new person. For some of you guys, this could be an old person. But there's a need for you to kind of like forgive or just let lay to rest those old conflicts that has to do with relationships because this is giving you a hard time with bonding with these relationships that are very, very sacred, that they are a part of your purpose, your sacred purpose. This is your eternal flame that you have made a pact to incarnate with. Um, you're going to do this before, after time, after you continue to keep on reincarnating with this flame, with this person. Um, so there's a need for you to kind of like <clears throat> lay these, lay these things to rest. There's something that's, that's, it's like unresting energy. Um, <clears throat> also, I could feel like that something could be getting really, really boring, not boring, but like, um, it's like cyclic, like somebody's tired of it. It's time for you to plant something new. It's time for you to plant some new energy, especially when it comes to love. And when it comes to relationship. Okay, we have opening the heart. So when it comes to money, um, how you are going to navigate your career and finances is by forming really, really deep connections. Um, and this is really, really good relationships with different people. So how good are, so that's why these relationships, so how good are your relationships? Really, really good relationships are definitely going to get, get you what you want right now when it comes to money and when it comes to career. All right, yeah, you do have twin flames here. So for some of you guys, you have a lot of people in different places. Um, and one of the biggest things that the enemy could have gotten you to do, kept you enslaved with, is feeling like that your relationships were going to be a certain type of way. For some of you guys, the way that you make it ahead is actually your relationships. So, of course, the devil is the biggest liar. So they have to, to lie to you and let you and tell you that you can't trust people or that you can't go into the room and you can't mingle with different people because it's trying to get you off off um, alignment or out of alignment for as long as it can because it can't stop what's yours, but it can get you off track. OK, so for some of you guys, your rela relationships are really, really key here. Um, eternal connection keeps on coming up. So something is eternal. These deep connections in, in, in career are definitely going to help you. New creations. For some of you guys, these are really, really new relationships. You are in this phase where you are meeting these eternal connections, where you have these eternal flames that are coming towards you, these sacred connections that are coming towards you. This is angelic assistance, but these are physical angels, divine guidance. This is loving support. For So for some of you guys, you're in the realm of this love and support that's coming towards you. And this is really going to shine in your career. Really, really going to shine in your career and your finances. If you were to just strengthen your relationships and trust and not look at the past and look to the future and be optimistic about the future, then these relationships, especially in career, are definitely going to serve you um, really, really well. All right, for some of you guys, you're going to see something today and you're going to be able to interpret interpret it. So this is going to be telepathy. So you see that you're communicating with someone or something. We did see that you, you, you were communicating with some type of uh, money or you were communicating with some type of riches or you were communicating with some type of abundance coming towards you. But this is going to be your greatest achievement that you're going to really interpret or you're going to see something, see that you're communicating this telepathy. Um, you have this soul radiance here and you have this portal. Okay, so this is opening. 
Hmm. So how you're communicating. So I feel like why do I want to say teleporting through? Being able to come through the portal. It's going to be by your sight. Your sight. Friendship. For some of you guys, you're going to see a person. This could definitely be in your dream. You're going to see somebody who you need to become friends with. All right. So let's get the closing insights of the day. All right. We have power over difficulty. Angelic assistance and healing the earth. Wings of light becoming something new. So the closing messages is right now you are gaining power over difficulty. Um, by some type of getting some type of clarity, um, gaining some type of clarity back. This could be getting like your um, you could have gone through some type of brain fog. You're getting that back. Or you could have had some type of blockage. If something is unblocked, then you're getting that back. So you are getting some type of power over difficult, being able to reclaim your power back and also get solution to your problems. Also, angelic assistance with the friends, lots of friends, lovers, all of that. These are angels that you are coming in contact with. Um, you also have healing earth. So this is you, you acknowledging the fact that you have the power to receive and give healing You've been touching a lot of earth and things like that. So you have the power to heal. So this is understanding your power to heal situations, your, your power to heal things. Also, you're going to see something. See something really, really good. Could, could see you going into some type of portal or the portal opening or a person. This is going to be a person that you're, you're probably going to see in your dream that you're probably going to meet. And you do need to be in contact with that person. All right. Um, yeah, so that is your morning inspo. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.